Hi guys. Hey, welcome to season two, episode two. Life with Trey and Jay. I'm Trey. And I am Jay. And we are so excited to talk to you today about difficult conversations. Difficult dun, conversations. Dun, right. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I really believe that's how people feel yeah. when they hear about having the they have to talk to someone about something they don't want to talk about. Or when you randomly get the text, like, can we talk? Right. Wait, Every time I tell my husband wait. I have to talk to him, he's like, wait, what did I do? I'm right. like, yo, what are we going to eat for dinner? Like, it's not even that serious. I just want to have a conversation. I want to have a conversation. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay yeah, yeah, tuned. Yeah. Wow. Alright, so difficult conversation. You know when you just gotta roll your eyes because you already know where it's about to go. Right. We all love <laughs> difficult con no, some people really like to um confront people. I mm -hmm. don't like difficult conversations, but I also like it at the same time because it's useful. But listen, I think you just said that people like difficult conversations. I think if you like them, because they want to be in it, yeah. Like, cause uh, uh, no, see, oh, no. maybe that's the Brooklyn part. All of that, <laughs> all of that's a little too much, right? right? But I just, I, I do believe that it's, it's um, healthy. It's I important, think it's extremely, extremely important. important. Yeah, because the only way that we're gonna know how to grow together is if we're having conversations that are not easy, like. All right, well, what happened at that day on you know, on that day or what so have you hurt my feelings? How did it hurt my feelings? This is what that meant for me and this is what I struggled with because of that conversation. It, and that's what we're talking about. Right. So, yeah. So, why did we bring up this topic today? Did you see the <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my lash go pop? Right. Right. Oh yeah, cuz we got that you guys, the last. Hello. So right? yeah. So we, when we were discussing what topics to talk about, we just we one of the things we said was dif difficult conversations, and because we've recently had to have difficult conversations, we've had difficult conversations with each other. Yeah. And we will probably continue to have difficult conversations. Yes, um, and that's healthy. And it's okay. Yeah. So an example yeah. of a difficult conversation is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All Let right, me just so, help her. Right, because you already know the tears She's about to come. Um, <laughs> oh, see, I need to have my box of tissues. You know what? Next it's episode. because my, my eyes are glassy a little bit. All right. <laughs> um, so a difficult conversation that I am still in the midst of having is with um, someone that is close to me, someone that, that used to be very, very close to me. And... Um, I Breathe think, easy. I know. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh gosh, okay. y'all. But um, I think what sh I struggle with in having this conversation um, with this person is it, it's hard for me to get past what, what you are seeing from me or what you saw from me. Um, because it's like, if... If I've hurt you in any such way, um, and now I'm like, I love Jesus, I love the Lord, and I'm trying to uh, walk in a space of forgiven because he's forgiven me, but you are still seeing me as the person who hurt you. Or BC. The yeah, Before Trey Christ. BC. And you're seeing that, and you're like, she, that's the same person. I'm not even messing with it. Um, okay, so let's make this clear. You're saying that you actually did hurt somebody b before Christ and they don't want to accept the new you. Yes, and I think it's, I, I would definitely say it's Not on purpose, but you know, it I would hurt. Yes, yes, exactly. That like, happens sometimes. Exactly. Sometimes you have intentions for something else and it hurts them. So yeah. you got to be like humble enough to say, you know what? I'm sorry. But anyway, that's not so, what she's saying right now. But No, but yes. Yeah, so I, <coughs> I'm trying. I've been trying um, to say I'm sorry, to apologize. And not only to say uh, um, I'm sorry, but more like, yo, I just really want to just talk this through, th talk this out. Because uh, I've hurt you. You have hurt me. But I want to have this conversation with you. And I think that So we can move on in our relationship. Yeah, like I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But, you know, when you hold on to hurt, 
so tightly, it becomes a relationship that you're in, right? Mm. And um, I do believe that, you know, it has been let go to some degree. Because there's been improvements. I yeah, say. yeah. I think that there's it's been let go to some degree, but that conversation, the, you know, the two parties just sitting across from one another still has yet to happen. But the amount of improvements that I've seen... I'm like, Jesus, I'm telling y'all. Okay, I'm going to look into the camera because I need y'all to understand. Look into her eyes. Tell you, tell me what you see. <laughs> right? Like, no one can tell me Jesus does not exist. Like, I'm a thousand percent sure. And, and, and for me, it was like, he needed to show it to me this way, how important prayer is. Understanding how real Jesus is when it comes to this battle being fought in prayer. Like, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm telling y'all, I know. Like, just seeing the, the difference. I mean, um, aside from Janelle and I having this show, Life with Trey and Jay, uh, we are also accountability partners and um, with one other person. Shout out to Christy. Um, but, so, like, you've heard me talk about this and seen the progression of it. Uh, and one of the things that I've been able to see in difference is a response to a text. I know it can sound crazy, you know, like people respond to text messages all day. But if you are trying to build something with someone, if you're trying to um, have this difficult conversation, their lack of response or their silence hurts. You know what I mean? It hurts you because you're just like, I just want to tell you I'm sorry and I want to talk to you. But but there's a hurt there. There's a there's a there's a, a stop there. Um, and so, yeah. So one of the things that came to mind while you're talking, it was, um, you know, you have started the process of letting God prune and change your heart. But not everyone has done that. Who not everyone has started that process. And so, um, you know, thankfully, this is this started because. It's one sided, but at least it, it's a it's something that's happening. There's a progression. Obviously, mm -hmm. we like you mm -hmm. said, there's been right. a progression. Right. But and also, I think she's uh, he or she is witnessing the progression in you as well. That's why I think that's why there's a there's been a progression because of prayer. Like you can't do it by yourself. So um, we have to keep in mind that the other party, he or she, um, they just. You know, it, it may be difficult on the. It is difficult on their end. Mm -hmm. it's a difficult conversation, mm -hmm. but it is difficult on their end. But it's especially difficult because they don't have the framework. They might not have the framework you have. They might not have the work done, mm. personal development, but mostly spiritual transformation. Yeah, yeah. They are not. Might they might not be listening to God saying, "Okay, put down your pride and answer the phone." That's something I have. I'm learning. Like. My mm. husband always reminds me of that. I have to say it because I have to remember that he's my husband. Um, <laughs> he always reminds me of that. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi, Warner. <laughs> yeah, so he always reminds me, like, Janelle, you have to remember, like, not everyone is mature as you. Not to say that I'm, like, super mature and, like, I got it all together. Definitely not. I mean, we're talking not. spiritually mature. But, like, sometimes like, you have to meet them. people where they are and you cannot yeah. expect them to to mature overnight you cannot expect them to respond in a mature way spiritually or naturally mm -hmm. natural maturity because mm -hmm. you know maturity doesn't come with age unfortunately oh. you know what i'm saying so can you repeat that for the people maturity Re does not come with age period <laughs> period no exclamation point. exclamation point so um we have to remember to be patient with others and when you're ready to speak not everyone else is ready to speak i'm always for the most part ready to speak because of learning from the past mm -hmm. and I'll tell you my story when I was in <laughs> when I was in college um I'm laughing because we're really good friends now but back then when I was in college one of my friends we lived with each other in the same dorm uh her boyfriend um was always around I was cool with him so like I didn't mind it but after a while you know you expect to just live with a woman but at this point I was living with the man too and I never let this is the first time I'm living with a man, which is my husband, outside of my brother. So like if I didn't choose to live with a man, why am I living with a man? <laughs> so but not only that, um, you know, eventually, he, we, you know, he was real cool with all of us. So we shared stuff. But it was like, yo, you're like literally 
eating all my food and I don't play with my food, okay? So Mel's the person who dances for food. Like, I'm like, you know, just yes, food. Like, yes. You know, so you know when you got a good piece, you know, whatever, and then you know you eat it and the taste buds are like, yes. And then you might as well just give a little shimmy. Anyway, right. So one I used to eat a lot of cinnamon toast crunch in college. Like a lot. Oh my gosh, that's a throwback. A cereal. lot. Like and uh, I went to I went home. My mom stocked my fridge up with like mad stuff. Um, I was you know broke in college, so I didn't want to buy food outside of that. Woke up in the morning, ready. My taste buds were ready for the cinnamon toast no. crunch. Oh, there was no cinnamon no milk. milk. No, <laughs> and I bought milk. By the way, every and it was like maybe eight o'clock in the morning. I woke up. Everyone. <laughs> everyone got it especially him and I didn't like how I responded because at the time I really hurt my friend because I got on her because it was her boyfriend I really hurt her and I I didn't like that because guess what it's been happening for the whole year maybe before that and I didn't say anything mm. how is she supposed to know if it's bothering me if I don't say anything why because mm -hmm. I was scared mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. scared I didn't want to have the difficult, the difficult conversation, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not yeah. not not every time you're gonna have a difficult conversation the person will respond in a great way but I was just like, I didn't think about the good. I was thinking, I'm scared. I'm not going to say it, anything. Mm -hmm. I was like mm -hmm. 19, 20. And I just realized, like, at that point, I'm like, Janelle, if something is bothering you, you have to muster up the, the uh, courage to speak. Yeah. Um, and then you also have to remember, like I said, when is a good time, the person's perspective, trust and believe. It's hard on my end when I want to speak about something. And I've asked several times, like Trey, and the person doesn't respond or they say they want to talk or meet and something comes up every single time. That's because they're avoiding the difficult conversation. So I get it. Trust, trust them. Believe like it's hard for me to even like say, hey, let's mm -hmm. have this difficult conversation. I mean, I'm not saying let's have a difficult conversation. I'm saying, hey, let's talk. Yeah. Get the text. Let's talk. Do, do, do. <laughs> what do I do? What I do? What I do? Right, right, right. right. When I talked to, to my husband, yo, let's talk about this later. He's like, what do I do? Like today, I was like, yo, I want to talk to you. He's like, what do I do? I was like, nothing. <laughs> like, I want to tell you what's on my heart about me, not, you didn't do anything wrong. You ain't doing anything wrong, babe. So yeah, like, <laughs> like, anyway, so that's the point. Like, that's the reason why back then I decided like, okay, you know, make it your business to tell someone that it's bothering you. And when it's like small and manageable, cause eventually it can just get bigger and bigger and bigger and you hate the person and you don't even remember why. Right. You stop talking to the person, you no longer right. have a friend or a family member and you don't know why because yeah. you didn't want to address it when it was a pebble. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When it was a pebble, now it's like a mountain. And um, you trying to be like, I can't even see past the thing. I can't even, right. I can't even see it's past like it. It's like etched in your heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible talks about forgive. Well, that's really like forgiveness. Unforgiveness is like a tree. And it's the, and the, the tree, roots. right, the tree that it talks about is the, like the tree that takes the, um, not the longest, but it goes the deepest and mm -hmm. grows the farthest. Mm -hmm. So it goes down really deep mm -hmm. and, and grows spreads. really, really wide. Yeah. And this that's is what such it's a like. random fun fact, but I don't know if you guys know. There's, um, I forgot the name of the tree, but there's a tree that's like their roots are normally like football stadium size, right? Like, and it's probably like that lengths because of the fact that it's just it's just in the ground. So even if you try to chop the tree off, it's like you didn't get to the root of it, right? So we can't yes, we can't just talk about offense, right? Yeah, we can't just be trying to be like, hey, girl, hey. Or hey boo hey, and it's like, like brushing it over, cutting no, it down. You have something to really happened it. here. Something happened here, and we got to talk about it. Right, and, and it might be some crying. Yeah, you might need a mediator. Which which both options, both things are okay. You know, I think it's also important for us to be mindful of the person's time and the person's space. There goes the patience, one of the fruits of the spirit, right? But really understanding, like, I can't come to your door. And be, be like, like I'm ready to talk. <laughs> and be like, yo, come outside, we talking. Like, there was a time where I would have wanted to do that. Like, yes. And I do believe. I don't know Trey BC. Right, my earring fell, needed, but it's all right. I needed to see But <laughs> I, I believe that there's also um, <laughs> a, a point in time where this person, and just particularly in my life, was like, oh, well, I, I expect Tracy, me, myself, I expect her to come at my door and just be like, break down the door. Let's talk right now, right here, right here. And it's like, the Lord is telling me to give time and, and, and be patient because I want to do it right now, right now. 
because I want it on my time. Right. And I'm not respectful of your time. I'm not respectful of your feelings. Um, you know when someone's pressing you mad hard and you're like, just give me a second to process what it is that I feel. Um, so I think... I think it's just, you know, it's, it's hard. These difficult conversations are hard because mm -hmm. we want to have them and we love whoever it is that we're trying to have this difficult conversation with. Normally, we genuinely love you, right? We genuinely love you. We genuinely have sentiments towards you. And we want to continue and the relationship. And we want to continue the relationship. We want way. to save the relationship. But it's like there's a twofold and the hard part is, is having the patience in it and just waiting, waiting for the Lord to, to soften that person's heart to be able to come together and y'all have a conversation. And that's mad hard. I'm not just I'm like, I'm really um, in this moment. I am fighting back tears in saying this because it's okay. I let it flow. Like, just let make up. <laughs> but like, I am mad serious about that. Like, mm -hmm. it's mad hard to sit and wait on someone else being ready to have that conversation that you are burning, that you are like have burning, a burning to desire to have. And um, I think the Lord does such a great, he, like the way he does it is so great because he'll show you peaks and moments of something is happening. Something is brewing. And um, you get to a point where you're just like, thank you, Lord. When you pray for something, you get emotionally attached to it, <laughs> and you know, and so you want it to, you want to see it happen. Um, but prayer is a very active thing, though it feels like it's not active. Though sometimes it feels like your prayers are bouncing off the ceiling, and it's you're not doing anything, mm -hmm. but you are, and it and and God can change a heart. We can't change hearts; only God can change hearts. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, that's what prayer does, you know, and prayer also softens your heart for the person. If you're praying for someone, your heart, your heart gets softened. So what Trey is going through is a, a process of humility as well. Like it's very it, it really tears down your <laughs> pride, I would say. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's very humbling when you have to wait on someone else. And so no one likes waiting. Right. Right. So um, the scripture we wanted to read, you want me to read it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can okay. read it because I feel like I'm, I'm coming undone at this it's point. It's okay because God wants us to be undone. So Matthew 18, 15 says, If your brother sins, go and show him his fault in private. Um, if he listens and pays attention to you, you have won back your brother. And it does go on to say, you know, if he doesn't take it to others, take it to elders at the church and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. private. And we're not talking about if he sins you know, no, it's more like, yo, let's talk about this. Like, and I'm talking about sinning on both sides. And what they mean by sinning is doing wrong. Um, being outside of God, what God wants for, for them and for ourselves. And so that's one scripture I would say is extremely important because it says in private, like people want to put people on blast on Facebook and Instagram. That's not cool. No, that really, nah, that's, and that's, it makes the relationship worse, you know? So yeah. Anyway, we just we just hope and pray. We're praying for you all and for ourselves that, you know, when you need to have that conversation, have that healthy conversation because it, it makes us emotionally healthy and it makes a relationship stronger for Trey and I because we're working together. And like she said, we're accountability partners. Um, it sometimes is hard to have difficult conversations, but it's so necessary for this to work for us to have life with Trey and Jay, for us to be friends, because if I'm holding something that, that she's done that hurt me, she might not even know. Like, there's times that I've hurt her and I didn't know. Um, and so I, I was like completely oblivious to it. But she told me, and I was like, okay, I'm listening, and I'm sorry. Like, I didn't, I didn't mean it. So if, if a person does you wrong, go to them in private and speak to them. And I would say, like Trey said, pray about it. If you don't pray pray <laughs> but also just like just think about what would be best for the person as well for yourself not just mm -hmm. for yourself and not because it's a burning it's mm -hmm. burning you on the inside and you must spew it out because that's how yeah. i normally am so anyway um yeah that's our um our advice um and we we pray that you hopefully got something from it so that's uh episode two Oh my goodness, that was a lot, y'all. <laughs> episode two, I got a napkin in my hand already. already. So like, what's gonna happen with episodes? 
you know, moving forward <laughs> in season two. So we just hope that you uh, follow us on Life with Train, actually at Life with Train J. J E A yes. yes. on Instagram and Facebook and go to Main Moves TV. Oh gosh, I always mess I'm up. I'm gonna do it. Mainmovesmedia.com forward slash Life with Trey and J. J is J E A. Okay? Life with Trey and J. Um, and That's we'll it. see y'all. Bye y'all. Thank God for it.